what measures do you want, or what steps can you take to sort of address our climate change challenge here? Right. Let's be realistic, folks, on climate change. It's real. It's been happening for a long time. I'm aware of that. And I think it has to be addressed. There's nothing Rhode Island can do to address climate change in a way that's real or impactful. This has to be done at the national level and international level. Because even if our nation does it and the rest of the world doesn't participate, we're still going to be in trouble and, and you're not going to solve the problem. So this is a national issue. A 50 square foot state of Rhode Island cannot positively or negatively impact the environment. We, we, we can act appropriately, which I think we do. We're, we're heavily invested in green energy, and we have great recycling programs. We are about as green as a state can be, and I've, I've supported and encouraged all of those initiatives. However, when you're talking about changing our climate, I realistically, as, as much as I believe it's changing, I realistically believe that all you can do is harm your economy and not improve your, your climate unless the entire nation joins in. So this stuff has to be debated at the national level, which is very hard. It's easy to come into Rhode Island or a small state, try to affect policy, check off the wind box. It doesn't help the environment. So all we could do is hurt ourselves, not necessarily help ourselves. But I, I do support every green initiative out there, but it has to be realistic and it has to work within the confines of our, con uh, our economy. Amanda and I have really great uh, reader questions. Hey. Um,